Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a bit of the process of me making my first plushie. I looked at a few different patterns as well as just improvised and used my own imagination. So without further ado, let's get into the supplies. For the yarn, I used a 200 gram ball in cream, 100 gram yarn in white and pink, and I've used acrylic for this, though I do recommend that you use something like cotton. A 3.50 millimeter crochet hook, some plain black felt with a needle and thread to attach the felt, a red button along with scissors, stitch markers and some filler that you can put inside the plushie. Now I want to put it out there that this is not a tutorial. I am an experienced crocheter but I'm not someone who's totally into making her own patterns just yet. I'm still learning <laughs> and I do know the basics pretty well so I could kind of think of a way to put my little bear cub together. Making shapes with crochet is really up to the amount of stitches that you make and how big those stitches are. So if they're not just a single crochet, but say a double crochet, it all changes the overall shape of a creation. So I obviously intended to utilize this knowledge in order to make my bear come to life. First things first, I wanted to begin with the head. Most crochet heads used for plushies uh, usually are begun with a magic circle, magic ring, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I have seen a few people create plushie heads by doing a singular chain and crocheting off that one singular chain to create more of an oval. I ended up needing to go out to pick up the rest of the supplies. I needed a red button so that I could complete my little bear cub. And you know how it is for anyone who crochets, you are absolutely in awe of all of the gorgeous yarn that you get to choose from. And you can't resist, but you have to go pick up some more while you're there, because why not? You have more projects in your mind than you can keep track of. So I picked up some fluffy yarn for a future bag project. After I completed the overall shape of the head, I moved on to creating two little leggies. I then connect the two together and start to crochet the body. I have to say this process was probably the most enjoyable because I could actually start to see the creation come together. <laughs> With the head and body complete, it was now time to stuff. This would give me a better understanding of just how plump my bear cub was going to be, and it would make it easier to sew on the other details as well. Speaking of details, it was now time to add the ears and the other necessary details to make up the face of the head. I'd already completed one ear the previous night, but I'm going to show you quickly here how I make the ears. You learn this in the basics of crochet, but essentially all I end up doing is creating a bunch of magic circles and crocheting a few times around the magic circles to create some nice little ears. I sew the crochet magic circles together to make them more plump and sturdy and then I add smaller crochet circles on top in the color pink to create that inside of the ear. I did something similar to this when I made my crochet froggy hat. It's a lot of fun and pretty simple.
Like with most crochet projects, you have to leave a long tail so that you can actually sew certain things together. And it was time to sew the ears onto the bear. And I, I can't deny the moment that I managed to get these ears on, it was just like, oh, I can see it now. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know what you're going to look like and it's going to be good. Anyone else ever get moments like that? <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I'd also taken the time the previous night to crochet a snout, I believe would be the word, a snout for my little bear, and I crocheted it in the white yarn. How I was able to do this was pretty much the same as the ears, only I alternated between single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet to create more of an oval shape. Once I sewed that on, I brought out my black felt, cut a wee little bit off, I started to cut out the little facial expression on the snout. I decided to go with the sewing method, so I'm using a needle and thread here, but you guys let me know if there's any like fabric glues out there for crochet. I don't really know, because I kind of actually like how it looks more or less without the stitches. So if fabric glue is a good way to go, then let me know. And case in point here, I am struggling to sew around everything that my thread is getting caught on here. I, For me, the hardest part was the tiny little minuscule sewing part. Again, let me know if fabric glue is good. I would much prefer that option, honestly. But I don't know what's going to happen to this bear. I might sell him at some point, and I want to make sure that the details are stuck on there. I don't want them fall enough. <laughs> So I do the same thing, I cut out some eyes with some felt and sew them on as well. They're not the best looking eyes, but they'll do. I don't think I quite got them precisely symmetrical, but it's okay. He still looks good. He still looks cute. With his beautiful head finally finished, I could finally move on to sewing the body and the head together. This was extremely satisfying. I can't express how kind of nice it was to sew the two together and all that stuffing like finally have a place to go because <laughs> it just kept kind of uh, falling out of him because of how much I stuffed him. I wanted to make sure he was very very plump. To make the arms was basically the same as making the little feetsies, only I ended up doing two rows of double crochets at the top of the arms to create almost like a bend. Just changes the overall look of the arm so it would be a little bit nicer to sew on and it would look a little bit more natural than just two stumps kind of sticking out of them. I also half stuffed the arms so that they'd be a little bit more movable. Now, unfortunately, I don't have footage of his completion. <laughs> I actually have no idea what happened. I thought I filmed it, but maybe I'm just kidding myself and I forgot to film it. I don't know. We're, yeah. I end up crocheting his white little tummy and sewing it onto his front. And then using the long tail from that, I sew in the red button at the top, right between where his head and body connect. Sewing that button on was quite satisfying, it really completed the whole look of the character. And yeah, here we are, he's done! He's so cute, I can't handle it! <laughs> he's extremely plump, he isn't what I would call squishy, but that's okay, he stands up on his own. He's a big boy. <laughs> if you would like to see any more crochet or plushie videos, please let me know in the comments. I am planning to do some fluffy bags and maybe some leg warmers. I don't know, I've got lots of ideas bouncing around when it comes to crochet and I'm constantly changing it up. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you all next time. Bye!